All right. Mega high. Don't don't close the window, please. I swear to God. <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome, folks. So, um, welcome to baby's first tier list video. Um, as you can see, I've got my uh, my splints back on again. Um, did more physical therapy uh, this week and a blood test and a whole bunch of stuff. Trying to do what I can to take care of myself. You know, still been limited on what I can do in terms of videos, but, uh, you know, this was another quick little, uh, easy thing that, uh, I thought would be fun. I've been wanting to do one, like, uh, a video like this for a while, but couldn't think of what, and, just, you know, pulled something out of my ass, and, uh, figured, like, yeah, sure, yeah, Mega Man, why not? No, no particular reason, just, uh, you know, I love Mega Man, you love Mega Man. If you're subscribed to me, you probably do, I imagine, so... All right, well, um, by the way, shout out to uh, uh, The Legend of Renegade, who I'm playing some uh, music up in the background. Go subscribe to him, youtube.com slash The Legend of uh, Renegade. The Legend of Renegade, not The Legend of a uh, Ren Renegade, excuse me. Anyway, all right. So, uh, okay, so I have two that I picked out that uh, I'm going to go and uh, go ahead and try. Uh, one of them is is, is of all uh, major Mega Man games, and uh, the other one is of all the Robot Masters. So, uh, let's jump right in and, and start from the beginning. Alright, so, um, Mega Man 1. I don't put it at E. Uh, it's This game is, like, nigh impossible. It's memorable. Obviously, it set the stage of everything. It's got all, you know, some of the most uh, memorable... Uh, robot masters and everything you know the very first ones but um game's hard as shit and uh not particularly fun unfortunately uh but i'm gonna put it in c and not like down at the bottom e or anything because it was the first of its kind uh so i think uh you know it deserves a lot more credit personally so meanwhile on the opposite end in the most stereotypical choice of all time mega man 2 goes right at the top um I, uh, I will check my bias and say that uh, it was the very first uh, Mega Man game that I owned. Uh, so certainly there's, uh, you know, a level of favoritism there. But I think it's pretty unanimously considered to be the best, uh, or, or it, it is the most beloved of um, the, uh, the classic games, I would say. So, uh, you know, I'll have, to, uh, I'll have to go with that. Um, and you know what? I'm going to actually put three... Uh, on the same tier because I don't think uh, I don't think three gets enough credit uh, Three I think is just as good if not better than two um, It's not thought of as often, but uh, I think it's uh, I think it's pretty fantastic and um, uh, Most of the classic ones I didn't play in full until way later when I got the uh, Mega Man anniversary collection and uh, So three was a little bit later on for me, but uh, I, I adored it um, obviously it's got the introduction of Proto Man and Rush, uh, so, you know, can't go wrong with that. Uh, I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put four at, uh, at B, and also, hmm, yeah, I'll put five and six at A, so, alright. Um... <clears throat> Four is uh, four has got some interesting stuff to it. Uh, the levels are cool. It's got uh, two castles worth of uh, areas to go through, of course, because of uh, Dr. Kosick and then Dr. Wily. Um, but uh, still not quite as memorable compared to the others, quite frankly. Um, but uh, five, I've grown to really appreciate. Uh, I love the uh, evil Proto Man slash Dark Man fake out stuff. I thought that was really cool. Um, I actually do really like how weird and kind of, like, out of the box the Robot Masters are in that one. Excuse me. Um, and, uh, 6 is one that not only I owned, I didn't enjoy 6 that much as a kid because I felt it was a little too hard, but as an adult, I appreciate 6 a lot more because I loved the idea of, um, the, uh... The, the, like, international, like, robot festival type thing, you know? Um, where, uh, you know, all the different robot masters were uh, created by different people. And then Dr. Wily slash Mr. X just kind of came in and, like, reprogrammed them. So, uh, 
yeah, I, I, uh, I, I've grown creatively to appreciate six. It's still pretty hard, but, uh, but I, I do love that one a lot. All right, and uh, good old seven. Seven is S tier for me. I, uh, I love everything about seven. I love the graphics. I love the music. I love the levels. The robot masters. Everything, just aesthetically, musically, gameplay wise. I think it's great. Uh, I know there's some people that are kind of like really, really like down on it. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Brent uh, Brentofloss uh, apparently hates this one. I, I think I've, I've heard that. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I, I think it's fantastic. Um, so, you know, I, it, go, it goes up there for me. Um, 8. I do think that 8 is really good, but I'm gonna put it at A. Um, I, uh, I love the way it looks. I love the sprites. Love the music. Uh, love the Robot Masters. There's something about it gameplay-wise that feels a little janky. Um, like, just compared to the, the other ones, it's, uh... Something about the flow of it is just it, it, it always feels like kind of off to me. Because like otherwise every other aspect of eight I think is 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 great. Eight is great. Yeah. But uh it falls just sort of an S because there's some there's some jank with the controls that I kind of feel I experience that kind of bring it down a notch for me. Um So uh let's you know I'll come back to the later classic games. Uh, although I will put in uh, Mega Man at base, I'm gonna put Mega Man at base at B. Um, so I had the uh, the GBA port of this game, um, and uh, I beat. I, I think I did. I beat it. You know what? Actually, I can't even remember if I beat it or not. Um, it's. Uh, it, it. I feel like it's it's eight, but even jankier to be honest. Um, mainly because of uh, how zoomed in everything is. Uh, and I know that's the case for the original uh, Super Famicom version of it as well, Rock Band and Forte. It's, uh, it's just a little, it's got some awkwardness to it, but uh, I, I did find it also kind of fascinating, I, I guess they've never done this before, where they did recycle uh, Tengu Man and Astro Man as Robot Masters in it for some reason, I don't know why exactly, but... Um, and then they had other, a whole bunch of other new ones, all of which I thought were pretty cool. Burner Man, of course, you know, it was a big one. Um, so that's all of the uh, older ones. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Kurilu Stromboli, thank you for the uh, thank you for the compliment. Yeah, the, I guess a little quick story about the art that you see uh, above me. So this was a sketch that I did based on. Um, uh, I, I, I can't remember exactly who, it might, it might have been Kiji Inafune, or it might have been somebody else from the Capcom team, I can't remember, but they were talking about, um, they were talking about, uh, uh, like how they envisioned the designs of, uh, Mega Man and Roll originally, um, and, uh, originally Mega Man was going to be white, uh, because the whole, the, funnily enough, the first, the original name of uh, the first Mega Man game in Japan was the Battle Rainbow Rock Man, uh, because I guess the point of him was that since he would absorb the, uh, oh here's some TTA flashbacks for you. I, I stole a lot of this Mega Man Eight music for the early TTA episodes, by the way. Um, I guess the whole point was that since he would be absorbing the powers of the other Robot Masters, he would like then envelop their color and take on their characteristics and stuff. Uh, but, uh, I remember there was some kind of, like, technical reason that, uh, they eventually had to make, uh, Mega Man Cyan, uh, I think, because it was, like, a, one of the only remaining colors they had, something like that. Uh, and then Roll, um, Roll, I think, the, the, the kind of, um, pigtail, uh, the poofy pigtail with the ribbons haircut was based on, like, a, a specific anime character that is escaping me. It might have been, like, one of the Galaxy Railways, like, like, something from that, uh, continuity of anime, I'm not quite sure, but, uh, yeah, so just as kind of a little fun what if I drew what they might look like if they, uh, had those originally intended designs, so, all right, let's see, uh, let's take a look at, okay, so, I'm unfortunately gonna have to place all of the, uh, the Mega Man, um, Game Boy games down in Unranked, because I have only played one of them, and that was Mega Man 2 in the Game Boy, uh, it's garbage. It's just hot garbage. Uh, sorry to anybody who might have uh, grown up with it, but um, I went ahead and uh, I, I, I bought uh, a copy of, I think it was, oh, yeah, I bought um, Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire 
uh, and I gave Sapphire, I think I traded Sapphire to a friend of mine, because I wasn't going to play it, I was only playing Ruby and we were going to trade, battle back and forth, and I, uh, I traded them, and, the, and, and then that friend gave me Mega Man 2, and, uh, I, <laughs> I think I beat it that day, and I was like, this was terrible. Um, I beat it, so I guess it wasn't excruciatingly hard, but it was just very, like, there's like nothing to it. It just felt very hollow. Um, I do know the later, or at least, okay, it looks like at least just from the box art. Uh, Mega Man 5 for Game Boy had the star droids in it, uh, but I know very vague things about those characters, unfortunately, so I can't really comment one way or the other about them, um, unfortunately. <coughs> but, moving on. Uh, Alright, let's do Mega Man X. Alright, so, X, um, okay, so even though I'm not a huge fan of X. Um, I'm gonna put X at S tier because uh, I think it is a brilliantly designed game. Um, I think that what they did with the interaction between each of the stages, um, setting up this you know big thing of lore, uh, was really cool, and uh, I can tremendously appreciate it for that. Um, and, uh, so, and, and I have beaten it. I had, it's, it's one of the only X games that I have played and beaten all the way through. And, uh, I enjoyed it. And, I, and the music is fantastic. I remember, like, a good majority of the tracks from that game. Um, let's see. Mega Man X2. And, uh, Mega Man X3. I'm gonna, unfortunately, have to put them down in C. Um, excuse me. I've only played little tiny bits and pieces of them. Um because uh, I know that um, I know they're they're good games, but they're incredibly unmemorable to me. like incredibly unmemorable. Uh, I, uh, I I've seen probably countless uh, speed runs um, of these games, but uh, I couldn't tell you a goddamn thing about them. I don't remember like any of the Mavericks. I don't remember any of the stages. I, I like, vaguely remember a little bit of the you know what actually you know what i will say okay i'll keep x3 at c i'll bump x2 down to d because it's so forget other than like oh no green biker died uh, green, green green biker die guide good job let me take two green biker guy died haha -ha, you know that that's like the only thing i remember about that game but x3 i'm just remembering um a friend of mine in like high school recorded like a VHS tape of him playing through uh, all of X3 and he recorded like the cutscenes and stuff as well. Um, and because uh, it was the PS1 version of it that had like a little animated intro of each of the Mavericks and stuff. And I do remember that and that was that was a fun time so I could appreciate it for that. Um, Mega Man X4. I'm gonna put that at B. Um, I have only played a little bit of this game but I could recite every goddamn one of those cutscenes by heart. Uh, much like with Mega Man 8. Wes, my roommate, and I still, we constantly will we'll do the, the, you know, the... <laughs> well, I grew up quoting, obviously, all the Zero stuff. You know, that, what am I fighting for? You know, all that stuff. But uh, li lately, um, he introduced me to uh, when you fight the general towards the end of the game. He has the, my fate is sealed. I have mm, no choice. <laughs> and it uh, cracks me up. So, uh, haven't played X4 in full, but uh, but I do appreciate it. Uh, I do I do love the cutscenes, and I, I do remember it um, a lot. So, uh, you know. Um, I'm going to go ahead. This might be a bit of a controversial one. I'm gonna go put. Hmm, I'm gonna put X5 uh, at A because uh, I didn't own this one, but I did buy it. Or I did, Jesus Christ, I rented it. My brain isn't working. What else is new? Um, I uh, I rented X5 from my local probably Blockbuster or whatever it was. And uh, I played through the majority of it and really, really liked it a lot. I loved the graphics. I loved all of the... Ro I remember all of the Mavericks from that one with, with, with the uh, Guns N' Roses names, you know, all Grizzly Slash, Shizzy Glow, Axel the Red, all that stuff. Um, and uh, I did not beat it because I got up to, I think it was the first of the Sigma stages. 
and I couldn't beat the uh, the the um, black one-eyed devil uh, uh, slime monster because that thing was like impossible for me. Um, so uh, I have good memories with that one. I, I don't. I know it's not like, as far as I know, X Five isn't like super popular with people. Um, so I don't know how much of a controversial choice that would necessarily be. Um, X Six. Even though I've never played it myself, I've literally heard nothing but terrible things about X6, so I'm going to put it down there. And I'm only going to put X7 at D, uh, because of Burn to the Ground! Burn to the Ground! Woo burn to the Ground! Uh, another thing that Wes and I quote a lot and have for many years. Um, X8. I'm going to put X8. Let's see. I'll put X8. Hmm... Put X8 at A, yeah. Um, I uh, played that one quite a bit. That that's X8 is the Mega Man X game that I have the most amount of attachment to. Uh, it was the f I believe it was the first one that I bought. Yes, because I think I I did buy the X Collection, which had uh, uh, Mega Man X one, two, three, four, five, and six in it. I think yeah, and then I never played seven. Uh, but X8 I bought on its own. I think I bought that before the, the X Anniversary Collection, I believe. It's been a long time, so I can't quite remember. But uh, I played this one quite a bit. Um, I remember a lot about it. Um, I loved the, the graphical style. Uh, I thought all the levels were really cool. I loved all the, the Mavericks in particular. Bam Bamboo Pandemonium! Gigavolt Manowar! All those. Uh, I do really like the voice acting from that game. Um, I, uh, you know, shout outs to... Uh, Lucas Gilbertson and Carol Ann Day, um, who are uh, both fantastic, and um, yeah, I, uh, I, however, excuse me, and I remember this. It was uh, it was back when like it might have been like early goings of YouTube, maybe, but I can't quite remember. Um, I I never beat it on hard. So I never fought uh, the true final boss, which was like the, the kind of godly version of uh, Lumiere. Uh, I think I only fought uh, Sigma, uh, which supposedly was the end of, of defeating Sigma. It, you know, I don't know if that's, you know, people who know the lore better would probably be able to answer that. Um, I have never played the Mega Man Extreme games, the Game Boy games, so I can't really comment much of anything on them, unfortunately. Um... Uh, sadly, but, uh, yeah, um, oh, Adam brought up in, uh, in the chat, I think that, is that on here? It should be. Where's Mega Man X Command Mission? Uh, oh, is that not on here? No, no way. Maverick Hunter. Oh my god, it's not on here. Wow. Huh. Uh, well, you know what? Um... Unfortunately, I would have to unrank it. Um, that's one that I know is very divisive too. I knew people that like adored that game and they loved all the original characters that were introduced in it. Uh, you know, spiders and, and all that, all that stuff. And Max, Massimo. Um, but uh, I've I've never played, and I know a lot of people that despised. It. I remember G Four Tech TV was like really harsh on it, and a couple people I knew back in the day were like sick of it like they, they, didn't, they, they didn't you know really they weren't able to last too long with it but i never played it um i would be kind of interested it was for the gamecube i think right uh i would be interested to try it out sometime because i mean a, a turn-based Mega Man game like I'm, I'm down with that so all right so let's see um hmm. oh you know what uh while well, i'm just noticing it I'm going to put Mega Man and Base Challenger of the Future un unranked. I know, like, next to nothing about that game, unfortunately. So, yeah. Let's see. Um, what would be next? Oh, Legends would be next. Yeah, okay. All right, Mega Man Legends. Let me get a little drink of water real quick. Oh, sorry, I'm a little uh, congested today, guys. I'm... Uh, it's very, very hot, very stuffy out. Um, where's Mega Man from Captain N? He was right here when we started. Mega high. <laughs> Someone please end my mega pathetic life. Mega, 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 mega. Uh, all right, where are we? Legends. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Mm. I'm going to put Legends. 
That's A. Yeah. Um, Mega Man Legends I uh, did not own, but I rented, uh, I think, probably about three times in a row uh, from my local uh, Blockbuster until I beat it. Because I was obsessed with it, and I was so captivated by that game. I, uh, I do think there are things about it that are not perfect. You know, it was, a lot of people say it was a little too ahead of its time in terms of a 3D adventure game. The tank controls are not awesome, unfortunately. Um, but uh, I was very captivated by the story and the, the characters and the universe. Like, I remember, like, so much about that game. And uh, it was very inspiring to me. And especially, uh, where is Legends 2? I am straight up Legends 2, S rank, absolutely. Um, that one, I, I, uh, I think sometime last year think sometime last year and I, I went and uh, I saw uh, I just watched like uh, like movie of like just all the cutscenes like a full gameplay you know video of uh, of the game from start to finish and I was you know, it had been a while I remembered like all the major story events and everything but it had been a while um, I, uh, I, I I was just like it, I was enjoying it so much that literally it was making me think about, man, do I want to, like, pick up 3D and learn how to do, like, like, like low-poly stuff or whatever and, like, do animation that way? Like, I, I seriously was giving that thought because I was just so, like, the, the, the cinematography and, like, the camera angles and, like, and, and the voice acting was pretty good, you know, for what it was. Uh, like, the story was super captivating. And, uh, you know, I mean, left, a, left us off on, unfortunately, a huge cliffhanger. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have much hope in my heart ever for, uh, Legends 3 of ever being revived. And for, I think we'd sooner get an X9 than we would a Legends 3 at this point, sad to say. But, uh, I love that game very, very, very much, and it was a huge inspiration. Uh, Misadventures of Tron Bon. So, yeah, you know what, just to be fair... I haven't played it, so I gotta put it on unranked. Sad to say. Um, yeah, so. I know it's great. I know it's got a, a, a huge cult following to it. Um, but I, I've never gotten to play it myself. I'd like to. Um, I would really, really like to. And, um, oh, dude, Legends 2. Adam, please, please, please. Hi, Cartoon Gamer. Did you know Mega Man Legends is a video game? <laughs> uh, so, uh, Cartoon Gamer, what's your favorite Mega Man game? I don't know. I don't know what Mega Man stuff you like in particular. Um, let's, uh, all right. Uh, let's see what's next. Uh, you know what? Actually, while I'm at it, oh mm, no, I'll save that for later. Okay. Uh, all right, Mega Man Zero. Mega Man Zero. Let's see. Mega Man Zero. I'm gonna put Mega Man Zero at. I'll put that at a B tier. Um, I think the first one's great, uh, but I think the later ones were more enjoyable, personally. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I think, uh, I think that. It's so funny because the X games, part of why I wasn't super interested in them is because they were so difficult to play. Um, and it's arguable, excuse me, people who have played them all would probably be better authorities on this, but um, the Mega Man Zero games are probably even harder than the X games, but I just was absolutely in love with the aesthetics of, of the Zero series. Like, I, and I still am. I, I think um, the designs... Uh, you know, the, and, I, and the story, uh, the music is like everything about Zero. That, and it just, everything about the experience of playing Zero made even the, the, the incredible difficulty of it worth it. And it made me enjoy playing them. Uh, even though I, uh, and I, I just struggled a lot. Like, they were really, really, really hard. Um, but, uh, I do love them. And, uh, but yeah, the first one, I think, um, you know, Starting off was, was uh, you know, had probably a little bit of growing pains. Two um, was uh, less impactful in the story, but actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm wrong. 
Two, I'll put same level as zero. Um, less captivating story, but better gameplay. Um, but, uh, and have some cool moments in there. And three, three is S tier. Three is my favorite one. Um, the, the boss fights are all awesome. The levels themselves are great. Uh, the final boss fight and the twist with Omega at the end is like, huh. Um, I still always kind of wish that they made Omega look like, um, look more like Classic Zero. I thought that would have been kind of a nice touch. Okay, so... X4... X4, sorry. Zero Four. Um, I'm gonna put that... So, I have never actually played X4, but... Um, I'm gonna put it at C. Um... Because I, uh, it was the first, uh, Let's Play I ever watched. Not even a Let's Play. Um, I watched a, uh, like a, like a, god, like a two-hour video or something, uh, of, uh, somebody just beating X, uh, Jesus, uh, Zero Four, like, start to finish, like, the whole entire thing, and that was my first exposure to it. It was all in Japanese. This many years ago. It was on, like, a... If any of you are, are old enough to remember, like, real media player. Like, was, I don't even know what the hell the, the file extension was, but it was just some weird crap. And I, uh, I watched that multiple times, so I remember a lot about it. And um, uh, a lot of the music, uh, I think I, I ended up putting into um, uh, TTA at the time. So, I do have an attachment to the game, even though I myself haven't played it. I really should at some point. Um, so, who knows. Uh, Mega Man ZX... Hmm. I'm gonna put that... at... C. Hmm. No, you know what? No, D. Um, I haven't played this one, this one extensively either. I didn't like the idea of this universe, just creatively. Um, I felt like it was kind of kidifying the later point in the timeline that Zero was setting up. Um, I, uh, I thought, like, there were some conceptual things I thought were sort of interesting, of, like, having the biometals or whatever. Um, I liked having a, a playable girl character in, in Mega Man. For, the, is, is the ZX, the two ZX games are the only games that did that, and I could appreciate them for that very much, so... Um, and I will say, I liked, um, Grey and, oh god, her name is escaping me, the blue-haired girl with the ponytail. Um, they were more interesting protagonists to me, so I'm gonna rank ZXA, uh, above, and put that in C rank. Uh, I also really loved, um, excuse me, the, 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 the character concepts, and not just the designs, but the concepts of them, of having, like, the three wise old men that were, uh, um, the, uh, they were based on, uh, Dr. Wily, Dr. Light, and, uh, Dr. Cossack. That was a cool idea. And I can't remember any of their names, but, uh, the four characters that took on the biometals of the, um, the Copy X's, uh, uh, Elite Four guys. Chris Man! Sorry. <laughs> Stage, begin! So, um, yeah, ZX, uh, another couple games probably I should play at some point, um, but, uh, was just kind of unenthused about them, and then since, since I ended up not getting around to playing Zero Four, I just never picked these up, I'm just like, eh, I don't know. I do also, you know, one other thing I will give credit to, uh, ZX is, um, I did really appreciate, I, I loved the, uh, the main theme song, uh, I think it's called Asayake. Uh, I loved that. I, I still think of that song all the time. Um, I guess apparently there was almost an anime that they did of it at some point, but they never got around to it. So, uh, okay. Before we get to Battle Network, let me finish up these other little stragglers uh, real quick. Um, X1 through 3. Oh, you know, Cartoon Gamer just reminded me about... Um, uh, What's it called? Um, uh, the Power Battle and the Power Fighters. Uh, I love those games. Those aren't on here. Uh, I would put those probably in like B because I played those a lot. I remember uh, 
at an arcade in like New Jersey. At, like I was like staying at a beach house or something, and I went and uh, and they had the two games, and me and my friend just like played them until they were they, until like the machine, well, not until the machine broke. You know what I mean? We played those extensively, um, and uh, that you know, those those two games were a lot of fun. So I would probably give those like a B tier. Um, they're very short, obviously, because they're arcade games. So. Um, okay, so let's fix these little stragglers. Uh, Mega Man powered up. I'm gonna put that at like a C. Um, I thought the chibi art style was cute. Um, I like the voice acting in it. Never played it. I did not own a PSP, unfortunately, but I did love uh, seeing the little interactions, the little the little cutscenes between the characters in the game. And uh, for a similar reason, I'll put C for an uh, action. Mm -mm. I'll give your regular Hunter X or a Maverick Hunter X um, a uh, a B tier because um, same thing. And I know some people say, "Oh, it's like a far inferior version of Mega Man X." I'm sure it is, um, but uh, yeah, Powered Up and and Mega Man One, I'll put them on the same kind of level because they're still you know it's still that game. But I like what Mega Man uh, Powered Up added a lot, and uh, Maverick Hunter X. Um, I, uh, I mean, it's still Mega Man X, it's still, you know, the game, it's still the, this, this perfectly crafted, uh, platformer, and, uh, loved the animated cutscenes and the Day of Sigma OVA. I thought that was awesome. I still go back and will rewatch that, uh, every once in a while. So, um, I'm gonna give Mega Man 9 and 10, I'm gonna make them B tier, because I know they're, uh, they're, they're decent games. But I was disappointed in them because I was kind of frustrated that they weren't what eventually became Mega Man 11. Um, I uh, I really wanted uh, a modern take, like really nice looking Mega Man uh, classic game with like better graphics and stuff. And the fact that they intentionally made them like 8-bit was like, oh, okay. And apparently at one point that was... Uh, I remember hearing this from somebody many years ago. I don't know if this is even true or not, but supposedly they were thinking about, um, they were thinking about doing, what was it? They were thinking about, the 8-bit look was going to be like a, like an extra mode, like an unlockable, like you could play it in 8-bit mode or in modern graphics mode. And then I guess like, because maybe they weren't confident that the game was going to sell, and they thought, well, well, we have to really go the retro route, because, like, you know, by that point, Mega Man was kind of, like, not a super popular, you know, icon anymore. Um, that could be totally bullcrap, I have no idea, but um, I do remember hearing something to that effect. So, alright. Um, nonetheless, here we are, Mega Man Battle Network. Now, uh, all y'all know, uh, very much so, um, that, uh, Battle Network in particular is a tremendous, tremendous uh, influence, uh, particularly on Tome, uh, but also like my art in, in general, you know, and uh, so uh, it, it holds a very special place in my heart. I've been, I've been wanting so badly to go back and replay all those games. I'm kind of holding out for that. Maybe we'll get that um, legacy collection. Um, I don't know how likely that is. I, I want to say it's possible, but, you know, so I'm holding on until I can, like, get it on the Switch or something and play it in, uh, in better quality. Even though I do own all the original cartridges, and I could probably work something out with that, but, uh, maybe another time. Alright, so, <sighs> Battle Network series. Um, Battle Network 1, gonna put it at C. Um, much like a lot of the other ones, uh, a lot of the other first of its kind, um, it was, uh, it was, it was, it had growing pains, um, but it introduced us to a fantastic world of, uh, of like, you know, something that made my imagination, you know, sing. Uh, I, I really, really adored it. Um, but I know that if I go back and play it, like if I play all these from the beginnings, immediately I'm going to be like, oh, right. There were all these little quality of life things that they didn't fix until like the second and third games. And... Oh, that's frustrating. So yeah, that's that's something that kind of loses a bunch of points for it. Even though it's uh, you know it, it started the franchise, and I still remember like everything about it, and I love it. Um, I'm gonna put two at a tier just above it in B, um, because uh, Battle Network Two uh, definitely was a big improvement 
uh, had some more interesting levels and bosses, uh, properly introduced bass uh, and gospel, which of course, uh, love gospel in there, um, the organization and the dog, excuse me. Uh, so that was cool. Three, no question is S tier. Three is probably my favorite. I know it's a lot of people's favorites. Um, just great story. Um, great levels, great bosses to fight against. I just bit the inside of my mouth. That hurt. I'm a mess today. <laughs> um, yeah. I, uh, that's the one that I'm definitely looking forward to the most replaying. If, uh, if I do eventually go back and get to replay all of them. Meanwhile, the one that I'm looking forward the least to replaying is, uh, Battle Network 4. I'm putting it at D only because I still enjoyed it, you know? Um, but, uh, it's, uh, it's a game that I would like to only have to go replay a single time and not three times. So if I do play the, the games again, I would probably run through Battle Network a single time and that would be about it. Cause I just, I don't want to do it a thousand times. It sucks. Just the repeated tournament arc crap. And you know me, I love tournament arcs. I'm not one to turn my nose up, but it was just so, like, unremarkable. Oh, I'm gonna, while well, I'm remembering, I'm gonna put Battleship Challenge in Unranked. Never played it, don't know anything about it. Um, and I'm gonna put Network Transmission. Let's see. It was a cool idea, a platformer, like, classic-style Mega Man game. Uh, based in the Battle Network universe. Great idea. Not great in execution, unfortunately. Uh, I still... Uh, that was actually the first Battle Network game that I played. Uh, I was... Um, and it was the... I believe it was the weekend that uh, the anime premiered on, on Kids WB. So NT Warrior was premiering, and then I bought uh, Network Transmission for GameCube, which I think takes place between the first and the second games, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so, uh, yeah, I pl played a lot, played it a lot, uh, was never able to defeat, uh, base the secret boss in that one, as he is in every battle network game, obviously. Um, but, uh, so yeah, it's not an awesome game, unfortunately, uh, but I, I, I do think it's, I do think it's a good one. Uh, I'm gonna put, let's see, hmm, I think, you know what, hmm. Five. Hmm. Five is S rank. Yeah. Five, five is S rank. Um, I only had the one version. I think I had the the Proto Man version, I think. Um, and uh, I loved it. Again, better upgrades. Uh, have the double soul stuff by that point, but, you know, without the Battle Network 4 crap to deal with. Um, playing as the other net navvies was awesome. Uh, I really liked the Liberation Battle. Um, or the Liberation Mission uh, minigame thing with like the kind of like moving around the board and that, all that stuff. I thought that was very cool. Um, and uh, story-wise was pretty great. And six, I'm debating if six is A or S tier for me. Hmm. I don't know. You know what? No, I'm gonna put S, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. S uh, six six was really good. It was a great finale to the series. Um, I was sad that it was over. You know, uh, always would have loved to have more. Um, but uh, excuse me, it was it was a great ending to that franchise. And uh, uh, once again, good bosses, good like uh, nice, very streamlined uh, power ups, uh, the beast forms and everything. Uh, the hilarity of just how many conceptual things of like, wait, that's a lot like what I did in TTA. Oops, haha, <laughs> serves me right. So, um, Star Force. Okay, here we are. <sighs> Star Force is A for me. Um, I don't think it. I don't think the gameplay is as good as. Battle Network, I think that the over-the-shoulder 3D type thing didn't hold a candle to Battle Network. Um, there was so much more you could do in Battle Network, and Star Force felt very limited in what your abilities were and everything, so I wasn't crazy about that, unfortunately. Um, but 
Love the story. Love the story and the characters so, 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 so much for that game. Um, and uh, I did watch the show uh, pretty extensively at the time, uh, but in both languages, actually, um, for as long as the dub went for at the, at the time. Um, I was big on that. And uh, unfortunately, I have never played two or three. Um, but two, I'm going to put in D because two was lame to me honestly it was uh i was i was not crazy about um the theming of like the oh gotta find the o parts and you know just some of the characters and everything unfortunately um i was uh i was always just kind of like really like that's well, all right um and three, I've also never played, but I'm gonna put it B because everybody tells me it's fantastic and it's like the best one. It's like one of the best of the Mega Man RPG type ones like between Battle Network and Star Force. So based on what people have told me, kind of like how I put X6 so low because of what people told me as well, I'm gonna put that there. Um, and I'd say Mega Man 11, also B. Um, no, 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 no. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll put it at B. Um, because... No, ah, damn it. Because I... Okay, it's better than 9 and 10. Because it evolved. Uh, you know, having the... Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I'm full of crap. Yeah, I'm going to put it at A. Because I give it uh, credit for the new gameplay mechanics. Um, having this the, the, the twin gear system. The double gear system. Um, changing Mega Man's aesthetics uh, based on the power that he's using. Um, the graphics... And like them actually evolving the uh, the, the graphical uh, look of it, and uh, having voice acting, uh, all the robot masters were pretty cool. I liked them all. Um, only disappointment about Mega Man 11 was that uh, it was so short. Uh, the Wily stages were like very very quick, and uh, no DLC or anything, which I was kind of disappointed about. I was like, wow, Capcom, that's very unlike you. So, yeah, not. Uh... I was kind of a, I was kind of bummed out about that. So, but there we are. So, um, should we? Uh, I'm trying to think of. Uh, trying to think of like, should I now arrange them in a way that is, uh, what's it called? Um, in the order of like what my personal favorites are. I guess should I do that or should I just kind of move on to the next? Uh, the next tier list, because I'm gonna do the uh, robot masters next. Um, but uh, what do you what do you guys think? Uh, should I uh, should I arrange these or should I just call this one uh, call this one done? Oh, that's the song. I'm gonna skip that just in case copyright people don't like that. <laughs> what power do you get from beating the OC man? That's a great question. Um, you got fucked arms. <laughs> Get equipped with fucked arms. Press the B button and nothing happens. Ugh, Lord. Mega Man 12, Proto Man 14. The, uh, oh, the, the Wonder Swan, um, uh, the Wonder Swan, uh, Mega Man Battle Network game. I've only seen little bits of that. I've never played it. I don't even know if I've watched, like, a playthrough of it before. I can't remember. So I know, like, nothing about it, like, really, other than I've seen, like, some sprites of it, like, years ago on, like, uh, Spider's Resource or something. Dark Tales, yes, I saw that before. Yeah, Master Thomas, Master Albert, and Master Mikhail. I thought that was a really cool idea for uh, ZX Advent. And then, of course, Master Albert ends up being the twist villain, as, as you would expect. That was, that was clever, so... Lazard, think this one's pretty much done. All right, yeah, cool. Um, so I've never done that. Do you save the image? Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, cool. Now I'll go ahead and got that. Cool. All right. Okay. Uh, let's move on now to our. Right, here's a big hefty one. We are going to rate all of the robot masters. Okay. Uh, I think there might be some repeats on here. 
Uh, yes, yeah, I, I see uh, Galaxy Man on here twice. Oopsie. Oh well, whatever. Um, so, excuse me. Um, it would appear that these are somewhat in. Uh, oh, they're in alphabetical order. <sighs> okay. Um, or, or kind of. I don't know. I guess maybe not. Seem to be very scattered. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Okay. I'll try to see if I can kind of sniff them out and go through, uh, uh, them in the order of the games that they appeared in as best as I can. Uh, might be a little difficult, but I'll, uh, I'll do my best with, uh, spotting each one. So, let's see. All right. Starting off with my boy Cutman. Uh, I'm gonna have him up in favorites. I mean, he's such a meme lord. Make a dork! Uh, and I love him as a little, like, mobster dude. And, uh, yeah, every incarnation of him I love. I love classic version, like the actual cute one. I love the goofy Ruby Spears version. I love, uh, uh, the Battle Network, like, version of him and the anime Battle Network version of him with all the, the, the Yakuza mafioso type family. Um, and I love, uh, even the, the, uh, fully charged version where he's like, perfect, it must be perfect! Love that. Uh, so I'll go with, uh, with him in favorite. Uh, where's Gutsman at? Gutsman. Gutsman. I'll put Gutsman in pretty good because he's very memorable. And, uh, obviously Gutsman's ass. da -da! Um, gotta do that for the meme. Fireman. Decent because he's memorable, but... And Elec Man, same thing. Where's Iceman? Iceman, in favorite. He look, he look at him. Look at him. He's adorable. He's a little snowman lad. Uh, Bomb Man. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna put him bad. He looks, he just looks like a loser. He just looks so, such like such a weird like dorky looking freak thing. His little duck bill. Uh, all right, let's see. Metal Man, <laughs> easy. Metal Man is probably, like, gun to my head, my favorite robot master. And not just because of the Metal Blade is, like, the best weapon in all of Mega Man ever. Uh, but because I just, I love Metal Man's design. Uh, like, that's, that's, like, that was, like, one of my favorite designs growing up with, like, the, the faceplate and everything. Um, okay, there we go. That's an instrumental version. I'll let that play. <laughs> Crash Man. Crash Man's pretty good. Very cool design. Very bummed that he never got a Battle Network version. Um, that was a huge bummer to me. Let's see. Flashman. He's also pretty good. Airman. Favorite. Love him. Love every version of him. Love the song. Can't go wrong. Although I can defeat Airman quite easily. He's not that tough, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's see. <laughs> Um, oh, Woodman. I'm putting him in pretty good for the meme. <laughs> nice. Um, hmm. Yeah, they do have a lot of repeats on here. What happened? Strange. Oh, well. Um, Quick Man. Pretty good. Very cool kind of rival figure for Mega Man. Always thought he was a badass. Um, with, his, with his boomerang head. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Crash. Crash, Flash, Metal, Air, Wood, Quick. Oh, Bubble. Bubble. Uh, Bubble Man's meh. I won't put him in bad because I still like him. He's cute, but he's just very meh. It's like Bubble. No, you know what? No, no, no. I'll put him in decent. I'll put him in decent because, uh... He, uh, his weapon is what defeats Dr. Wily's, uh, alien hologram thingy. So. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, and for the, was there one more from two that I'm forgetting? It's so hard to tell because there's so many, re whoever made this one kind of screwed up in like how many that, like, repeats there were. <laughs> Jeez. Um. Oh, Heat Man. Where's he? Oh, Heat Man. There he is. Uh, Heat Man's decent. I like the Zippo lighter kind of thing. He's all right. Uh, okay. I think that's all of the the ones from two. 
their uh, Yeah, the, the ones from the first two games, I mean, like, everybody remembers those. They're all, you know, because they're shown everywhere and, you know, have the most amount of probably fan art and things. Let's see. Gemini Man! Gemini Man is pretty good. I might bump him up to S tier. We'll see. Uh, we're in the three, the Mega Man 3 characters now. Hard Man? Meh. He's powerful. I like how he quakes the ground, but that's about it. Otherwise, he's very unmemorable and kind of lame. Uh, let's... Oh, oh, you know what? I should do Time Man and Oil Man. Um, really bad for Oil Man. What were you thinking, guys? Time Man is... Meh. He's okay. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Magnet Man was three. Yes, he was. Uh, Magnet Man? Eh, meh. Meh, cause his music was good, but that's about it. Uh, Top Man. Where's Top Man? Top Man. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Top Man is also mad. <laughs> uh, Dive Man? No, Dive Man was four. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. who else was from three? Oh, Snake Man. Snake Man. Snake Man goes up in pretty good. Not one of my absolute favorites, but love him, love his music. He goes in from pretty good, for sure. I also, I think, I think his episode of the show was uh, the first one that I saw in the Ruby Spears uh, cartoon. Uh, let's see. Um, anybody else from three that I'm forgetting? One, two... I'm remembering a lot of the four guys, but not three. Huh. Oh, Shadow Man! Oh, of course, of course! Uh, where's Shadow Man? Where is he? Where's the Shadow Man at? Uh, there he is. Yes. All the way up in favor. He is fantastic. Always has an interesting role in every, uh, every iteration, for sure. Let's see. Um... There's one more Mega Man 3 character I'm missing. I might have to go back and do another pass later. Let's do four. Um, Toad Man. Bad. Battle Network Toad Man is infinitely better. Um, uh, Bright Man. Bright Man. Bad. Excuse me. Where's Skull Man? Skull Man, yeah. Skullman is pretty good. Again, he might, maybe I'll bump him up to favorite. We'll see. <sighs> Gyro Man is a favorite. Absolutely. He's so... Oh, no. Is he five, though? Or is he four? Crap. Ah, whatever. He might be five. I can't quite remember. Uh, Dive Man, I believe, is four. Dive Man is decent. The submarine thing was kind of cool. Any of the ones that are like vehicles, I'm like, yeah, they're they're okay. Uh, let's see. Who else was from four? Yeah, they they literally just put I think everything on here twice for some reason. Oh, Dust Man. <laughs> uh, Dust Man is meh. He's kind of funny, I remember him, because of uh, an old cartoon. I sure love to clean the castle. Barrel Man. Barrel Man is my boy. Ah, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, okay. There might be a... Oh, Drill Man, Drill Man. Uh, Drill Man! Drill Man is decent. He's okay. Okay, uh, are we up to, is this four or five? Yeah, we're still in four, okay. Uh, five. Um, Crystal Man. Crystal Man is, Crystal Man's bad. I don't like Crystal Man's design. Would have loved to see a battle network Crystal Man design at some point. Would have been interesting to see. Um, but, uh. 
Uh, what else? God, five is hard. Oh, Napalm Man. Napalm Man is pretty good. I like Napalm Man's design. His powers and his big missiles are pretty, pretty badass. Oh, I knew I was forgetting one from three. Spark Man. Spark Man is... He's decent, I guess. I love his his stage and his music is badass. So, sorry. Um, oh, Starman. Starman. Um, Starman is meh. His design is kind of lame. Um, hmm. There's some of these I know from some sp some spin-off games that I know like very little about, so those might be kind of kind of tricky to do. But all right, uh, what else? Oh yeah, the Mega Man Four. Yeah, did did Cossack make all of the um, the the Mega Man Four ones? I can't remember. Oh, I forgot another one from three. Needle Man. <sighs> Meh. Meh. Very forgettable. Plant Man is... Uh, that, no, that's six. I think I'm up to six yet. Am I up to six? Oh, did I miss... God, it's so hard to remember some of these. Like, like which, you know... Four, five, and six sometimes blend together a little bit for me. Um, let's move on to six. Oh, no, 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 five. Wait, wait, of course. Charge Man from five. Favorite. There he goes, because he's a goddamn train. So, of course. <laughs> you know me. Uh, okay, and... Hmm. Who else? I think we can move on to six. Uh, Blizzard Man. Blizzard Man is... Mm, decent, I guess. Uh, Flame Man... Flame Man's bad. I don't, I don't like bad design. The weird turban thing. And his level's very annoying. Nightman is... Nightman is decent. That's not Nightman. That's Magic Man. Nightman. Nightman. Yeah, Nightman... Yeah, Nightman's decent. Okay. Um, Centaur Man is... Uh, I'll give it decent because it's very creative and different, but... Not one of my favorites, so I'll kind of... Yeah, I'll have it, like, middle of the road. Um, hmm. uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, let's see. Oh, Ring Man is another one I forgot. Ring Man is... Nah. Uh, Tomahawk Man. Tomahawk Man is... Pretty good, yeah. I'll put him in pretty good. Um, Windman. Uh, yeah, I'm not not a fan of, of not a fan of Windman. Airman is superior. A oh, Waveman. Waveman, I'm gonna put it meh. I don't love his design, but uh, I've grown to like him a little bit more because of the fully charged version of him. He's kind of funny, so I'll, I'll give him a little bit of uh, some extra points there. Plant Man. Plant Man is... Yeah, Plant Man's decent. Hi, Tempest Mask. Yes, you do understand Oil Man being at the bottom. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's where he belongs. Let's see. Uh, what are we up to? Eight, uh, seven. Oh, seven now. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Um... Burst Man, you know what? I hate it. I hate Burst Man. Sorry. The design is super forgettable. Cloud Man. Cloud Man's decent. Yeah. Uh, Freeze Man. Mm, he's meh. Uh, seven. Where's more of the seven guys? Junk Man. Junk Man. Junk Man is. Oh, you know what? No, screw it. I'll, he's pretty good. Junk Man's alright. Shade Man. Not one of my favorites, like a lot of people, but definitely pretty good. I'll, I'll, I'll toss him a high rank. Um, hmm. 
Spring Man. <laughs> Spring Man is meh. He's funny, but no, oh, not decent. He's silly. There you go. Um. It's another seven one that I'm missing. Oh, is Turbo Man? Oh, there he is, Turbo Man. Turbo Man is, yeah, he's, he's, no, you know what? No, 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 he's pretty good, because I like, I like the vehicle ones. He's cool. Okay. Uh, and. Okay. I think that's all the seven ones, I believe. Yeah, okay. All right, uh, let's do eight. Uh, Astro Man is decent. He's cute and silly. Uh, Aquaman, meh. Aquaman's meh for me. It's kind of also. Why would you name him Aquaman? What are you thinking, guys? What are you thinking? Clown Man is decent. I would say. Frost Man is one of my favorites. Oh, this is a cool remix. Uh, Grenade Man! Grenade, he's meh. <laughs> I'm gonna blow you up! Um. <laughs> uh, one's from 8. Oh, Sword Man. Sword Man. Sword Man's bad. I do Battle Network Sword Man with the, the three heads is more interesting than just like, I'm a guy with a sword for an arm. It's like, good for you. <laughs> Uh, Tengu Man, Tengu Man is pretty good. He goes up there. Uh, these are the star droids. You know, let me get a better look at the star droids because... Because I don't even really know them as characters. Hmm. Okay, there's... Terra, okay. Terra, Terra's got kind of a memorable design. I, I forgot that that's who he was, but he's got kind of a memorable design. So where is he? Is he on here? Wait, they they are the star the star droids, right? Or let me think of something else. Uranus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Uranus is like bad. Mercury. Mercury is... Yeah, I'm, I don't love these, honestly. Venus. That's really bad. <laughs> Jesus. Mars. Uh, bad. Yeah, these are really lame. I'm sorry to say. Jupiter. Jupiter's okay. Jupiter. Meh. Saturn. That's... Mm, meh. Pluto. Oh, that one's interesting. Eh. Eh, it's still meh. And then Neptune. That's the C one. Yeah, that one's... Where's Neptune? Wherefore art thou, Neptune? Where did you go? I just saw you. God damn it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's just a kid. Um, oh, there he is. Neptune. Eh. Yeah, he's bad. Is Terra not on here? Or am I insane? Oh, whatever. Terra would be, like, decent, I guess, at best. Alright, uh, what's left? Uh, Mega Man 9, I think, is next, right? Alright, so, 9 and 10 really, uh, I get them confused for each other, like, all the time. So, I couldn't tell you which one is which. Um... So, uh, forgive me for, like, not remembering, like, which one comes from what, but let's see. Uh, <laughs> Knife Man? I'm gonna put Mac because it's kind of funny, but it's not actually a good design, like, at all. <laughs> oh, I forgot, oh, oh, I forgot Mega Man and Base. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Magic Man? Magic Man's decent. Uh, Burner Man? Probably one of my favorites, I would say. Um, hmm. 
Round Band is decent, kind of a cool tank sort of thing to him. Uh, Pirate Man? Eh, meh. Not a huge fan of Pirate Man. Uh, were those all the Mega Man and base ones, I think? I think they were. Pretty sure. Okay. Alright, uh, yeah, on to 9 and 10. Uh, Chill Man, I think that's his name. Chill Man is meh. Uh, Commando Man, meh. Concrete Man, meh. Uh, Hornet Man, not as good as Honey Woman, so meh. Uh, Splash Woman, pretty good. Could have used more female robot masters. That would have been nice. Robot mistresses, I guess I should say. Plug Man, meh. Uh, Galaxy Man, pretty good. Very cute. Uh, Str Strike Man, I think. Was that his name? Strike Man? Strike Man was... Meh. Oh, this is uh, Cold Man. Cold Man is decent. I kind of like Cold Man. I'm biased because I have the ice characters, but... Um... Uh, woo. Magma Man is decent, I guess. Yeah, that's alright. Nitro Man. Nitro Man is one of my faves. Very cool idea. The motorcycle. Jewel Man. I'm gonna say bad. Jewel Man is lame. Uh huh. Pump Man. Really bad. <laughs> Sheep Man. One of my faves. Don't care what anybody says. Uh. Solar Man. Solar Man is bad. Tornado Man. Tornado Man is pretty good. Yeah. Alright. Um, oh, I forgot Slash Man. Oh, I'm a fool. Slash Man is... Slash Man is decent. Yeah. Alright. Uh, and now... Yeah, now, now we're up to 8, I think. Yeah. Alright, so uh, Acid Man... Acid Man is... Yeah, some man's decent. Blast man. Oh, sorry. Uh, Stone man. Stone man. Stone man is pretty good. I like the super version of him and Blast man as well. Blast man's pretty good. Excuse me. Fuse man. Mm -hmm. Decent, I guess. Uh, rubber man or or uh, bounce man. Uh, you know what? No, no. Screw it. In my favorites. It's funny. <laughs> Uh, Pile Man is, eh, he's, yeah, he's decent, I guess, yeah. Uh, and Torch Man is, yeah, Tor Torch Man's also decent. There we go. Okay, uh, I think, is that everybody? Because I think, oh, oh, I see Dynamo, oh, okay, yeah, there's a couple other ones down here. Stone Man, uh, yeah, okay, I missed some of these. Stone Man is meh. Uh, Yamato Man is decent. And Dynamo Man is decent. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me just check through. Did I miss any other ones? Because I think the rest... Oh, oh, I see Search Man. I didn't put Search Man on there. Search Man is decent. Okay. Did I put Tundra Man on there? Tundra Man? Tundra Man is decent. Okay. Uh, I think that's everybody. Yeah, it looks like all the others are, uh, are repeats. Um, it looks like it anyway. Let me just, just glance over one more time. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Alright, so, really bad. Oil, burst, Venus, and, uh, pump. Bad. Bomb, toad, uh... Bright, Crystal, Flame, Wind, Sword, uh, most of the Star Droids, uh, and uh, Jewel and Solar. Meh, Dive, Time, Magnet, uh, Top, Dust, Star, Needle, uh, Ring, Wave, Freeze, Spring, Aqua, yeah, yeah. Um, grenade, uh, more of the star droids, or meh, knife, pirate, chill, commando, concrete, hornet, plug, strike, and stone. Decent, fire, elect, bubble, heat, dive, drill, spark, uh, blizzard, knight, centaur, plant, 
uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Cloud, Astro, Clown, Magic, uh, Slash, well, there we go. Uh, let me actually arrange these two to the, like, the games that they're from. Ground, Cold, Magma, Acid, Fuse, uh, what's his name? Pile, Pile Man? This is like, what's his English name? I forget. Yeah, whatever. Uh, forgettable. Goes to show, well, I guess he's not all that decent then, is he? Uh, Torch, Yamato, Dynamo, Search, and Tundra are decent. Pretty good. Our Guts, Crash, Flash, Wood, Quick, Gemini, Snake, uh, Skull, Pharaoh, uh, Napalm, Junk, uh, Tomahawk, uh, Shade, Turbo, uh, Tengu, Splash, Galaxy, Tornado, Stone, and Blast. And my favorites, my favorite Robot Masters are Cutman, Iceman, Metal Man, Air Man, Shadow Man, Gyro Man, uh, Charge Man, Frost Man, bias, uh, <laughs> Uh, Burner Man, uh, Nitro Man, Sheep Man, and Bounce Man. So, there you go. All right. We done dude it. Oh, did I forget Gravity Man? Oh, no. I did forget Gravity Man. Oh, there he is. Gravity Man is... <sighs> Gravity Man's bad. I don't like his design. Yeah, so. Place him down there with the... I mean, five guys. There you go. Alright. One last thing. Was there anybody else I missed? Does it save all the other images down there? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, it looks like that's everybody. Alright, cool. Well. Sweet. Alrighty. Well, we did it. Cool. Little over, uh, a little over an hour. That was fun. Thanks a bunch, guys. Um, so yeah, I don't know if uh, did you enjoy this? Um, if you uh, if you have other tier lists that maybe you guys want me to do at some point, um, I would be down to give it a shot. Um, the Mega Man one was just kind of like an easy like first thing that sort of popped into my head, so uh, I figured, yeah, sure, why not? I'll I'll give this a little little bit of a go. Uh, but I'll maybe do some other ones in the future. Uh, I saw that there's just like a whole bunch of pre-made ones on this website, so I could do that in the future. Maybe I'll try to get some guests or something. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, anyway. Um, well, thanks for joining, everybody. Um, I'm sorry that there's been such quiet stuff on the Tome News, by the way. Uh, there, um, there should be, uh, there should be some major updates in August. Um, in fact, here, actually, you know what? Because we're just at the end of the month, um, I will, uh, I'll, I'll say here for all of you guys who are checking this out, um, excuse me, a couple days before we officially announce this, um, every day in August, we will be doing a uh, voice actor announcement for the Terrain of Magical Expertise RPG. So, uh, if you go to twitter.com uh, slash T-O-M-E RPG, that's at Tome RPG, uh, every day in August, we're going to be announcing more and more of the voice actors that you'll be hearing in the game. Uh, if you played our uh, prologue demo that we had for the, uh, excuse me, uh, the Steam Festival uh, about like a month or two ago, I think, um, you uh, might have heard uh, a small handful of them. And uh, yeah, so we'll be officially announcing them uh, very soon. Uh, we do have the next trailer made as well. Um, I, uh, I don't know exactly when it's going to come out. It was supposed to come out a lot earlier, but there's... Just, you know, some behind-the-scenes stuff, but... Because I've been just so, like, engrossed in testing. Um, once again, uh, oh, hey. What a good note to go out on. I used to make this Zeto's theme in uh, TTA. This is the Wily's Fortress theme from... Uh, the, the first level of Wily's Fortress from uh, Mega Man 8, so... Worked well. Um, anyway... Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, we should have a new trailer, uh, we might even have a new demo, possibly, uh, but yeah, I've been, I've been testing a lot, oh, and, uh, yeah, once again, I was gonna say thank you again to, uh, Adam, uh, Tilford in the chat, and, uh, my friend Germ, JT Beyond, who's been on a few current blogs, 
um, for uh, helping me so much with the testing. Uh, you know, it's been it's been insane. Um, so I really appreciate it. And um, I guess uh, yeah, stay tuned for uh, some more cool stuff in August. And um, I guess uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care.